Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, what's the name? My name is Naza Oforma. Wow, nice to meet you. My pleasure. So what is the department? What department are you in? Human Physiology. Human? Under Human Physiology under Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences. Okay, that is nice, nice, nice. So what is uh, physiology all about as a department in university? Well, physiology is the scientific study of functions and processes that occurs in a living organism. Okay. Living organism is, you know, human being, anything, any function and process that occurs inside. We basically study the functions and processes that occur inside the living organism. Okay, okay. So, why did you decide to study human physiology? Well, I would say it's because it's related to what I wanted to study before. Okay. Physiology is one of the bedrock of medicine. I actually wanted to study medicine. I actually wanted to study medicine, right? You know, jam, blah, blah, blah. I was not able to get it. And then I wanted to study something that is related to physiology that can give me that knowledge I would have gotten if I had studied medicine. Okay. And then I had options of anatomy and physiology. Okay. So, and I researched more. I found out that if I study physiology, I would be very good. Mm. So. That, that is really nice. That is really nice. So, uh, physiology. That means physiology is like related. Is a part of medicine, right? Yes. 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 Okay. It's a part of medicine. You cannot do medicine without physiology. Physiology is basically what occurs inside the functions of and processes that occurs inside the Human living organisms. Okay, yes. Okay. Okay. So, how do you say how demanding is physiology as a cause? Well, it's not really demanding. Somebody that is studying physiology can add. A side hustle. Okay. It depends on your time management, yeah, but it's not really demanding as medicine and other professional courses. Okay, 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 so, okay. So. But is this like is it is it a professional course that is regulated by like let's say body or something like that? Yes, PAP can, but not in this school because we are working towards it. Other schools they study physiology for five years, right? Yeah. But in, and after the five years they do induction like other professional courses. But in this school we study for four years, though okay. we are still working towards this, okay. towards the thing you get. So, okay. but it's basically a professional course that do their normal uh, internship and induction. Okay, okay. Yes. So during the four years program, do you guys go for like IT uh, practical posting, something like that? We go for a practical posting at University of Nigeria Teaching Hospital. It's a course. Like okay, that. okay. So, at what at what level? At what level? 300 level, first and second semester. Okay. Sometimes it will linger uh, to 400 level, first semester. Depends on the time people started it in 300 level. If people started it late, that means 400 level, first semester, people will still be going there. Okay, okay, okay. So, how would you describe a typical day of a physiology student at the university? Well, it depends on how strenuous the lectures are. Sometimes you go home around 10, sometimes you come to school, go home around 5. Then on the days of the posting, sometimes if you go for posting, we normally leave around 8, finish posting around 12. That time in 300, I think it was second semester, we come back for practical physiology. Mm -hmm. That one is 2 to 4. You see that you just leave your house by 8, come back by 4. It's really stressful. Yeah. Do you get So yeah, yeah. some days it's stressful, some days you just go home around 9 or sometimes around 10. Sometimes no even classes. Okay. It depends. Okay. okay, but do you guys write like professional exams like? That's what I said earlier. That is for uh, the schools that do physiology five years. Okay. We have a body okay. for induction, do you get? But in this University of Nigeria, we have not started, we are working towards it too. So if we are going to be doing induction, if we are going to be inducted by PAP and that's the body, yes. we'll be writing our professional exam okay. Okay. for the induction. Okay. But I don't know if it's still going to be possible, but we are sure working towards it. But, but currently, people don't write like professional exam in between. Yes, 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 okay. currently, okay. yes. Okay, okay. So, uh, how would you say, how lucrative is physiology as a cause? Like, what are the job opportunities available to students after graduation? Well, I would say that physiology is like other courses because most of all these courses that people used to say, eh, we have job opportunities. You, at the end of the day, you notice that even if after graduation, mm -hmm. you find out that it's not as lucrative as people say because you don't have connection. But there are job opportunities in physiology, especially in the hospital, mm -hmm. aside teaching, because someone that studies physiology can 
actually become a teacher or a lecturer. So aside in the hospital, we have uh, job opportunities like medical physiologist, clinical physiologist, cardiac physiologist, those people that work on the heart. Yeah. And then we have pharmacologist physiologist, mm. like those people. They, as I told you earlier, physiology is basically functions and processes that occurs in the leaf. So yeah. pharmacology, you know what pharmacology is yes. about drugs. Yes. So what physi pharmacologists, physiology basically do is to test that drugs produced by the uh, pharmacologists yeah. to see the what is happening, whether it's good or it's not good, what that kind of thing. So mm. there are actually job opportunities, but you know Nigeria now. <laughs> if you get connection, if you don't get. Oh. Ah, that is that is really nice. That is really nice. So, what advice do you have for a student that wants to study this course? There is this stereotype that people have that uh, if it's not medicine, if it's not nursing, if it's not all those professional courses, mm. you are not going anywhere. But I just want to advise anybody that is trying to write the jump and enter into physiology. Focus. Bear it in mind that you are studying one of the best courses. Do you get? Don't be like, oh, these people said, oh, oh let me just study. Just do your best. There was a, we had seminar. I think it was on Tuesday that we had seminar. DVC came. He was telling us that sometimes people do come to you and ask him, please give us names of people that graduated with first class in physiology. Mm. We have job opportunities. And when you now look at it, you that you are in school, people have already been telling you, oh, there's no. You now relent. You will not read. Yes, yeah, yeah. And then when this type of opportunity comes, he comes to the department, and then there is no names of people that graduated with first uh, class. Qualifies. So if at, like you had read your book, put in your best, do everything, and then you happen to graduate with first class, and then if this job opportunity comes, you see that they will call you. Do you get? So whatever course you find yourself just try put your best read it That's all. <laughs> wow, wow amazing amazing so uh, so far from your first year to your final year uh, what course have you found most challenging like based on your own personal experience well it depends on the level like in my 200 level I was finding anatomy and biochemistry very difficult mm. I just managed to pass <laughs> <laughs> I just managed to scale through. These are two basic courses I was okay. finding difficult to. Okay, okay. So any any memory, like any regrets so far you've made in terms of academics? Yes, yeah, so I would have been reading my book. <laughs> <laughs> right from the one. More serious, yes. Okay, okay. Because this one, I, well, of course, I are strongly. Let us graduate with good results. But as I said earlier, this one, I will not, I will have, I will not, I don't have, I will not have anything to worry about. Okay, okay. okay, okay. So. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thanks.